Hey guys, I'm going to be explaining how to do a trick that a lot of people seem to be having trouble with. Uh, this trick is a little bit different than most others in the game, in that there's really not that much lining up to do. Um, and a lot of the spacing is just kind of done on the fly, because everything in the trick is really lenient. There's really only one part you want to be focusing on. So, I'll do all the normal pause buffer steps to get to that point. So the first thing you want to do is just line Rudo's head up with the door. The spacing on this really doesn't matter that much because after you go through the door, you're going to be making adjustments to your walking pattern in order to get to the platform. You just want to walk as straight as possible. And the spacing really doesn't matter at all that much. All you really need to do is land on the platform. And when you're in the air, you just hold up until you land there. So I'll do that. Alright. And then when you land on the platform, or a little bit before you land on the platform, just start holding up left until you get to the spacing you need. Alright. So, this is the part that people seem to mess up. Um, a lot of people like to look at Link's sword and line it up with the edge of the wall there. Uh, that's really not what you want to be looking at. Um, the only thing you want to be looking at is Link's shadow and the spacing between his shadow and the edge of the platform. And that is it. Um, and this is the spacing you want. It looks like Link can take about two steps before he runs off the edge of the platform, and that's exactly what you want. So once you get to this point, you just move left for one frame. Alright, and now you throw Rudo. And the way you do this is you should be holding left. <coughs> and then during the unpause leg, you're going to press and hold A, and then let go of left. And that'll make Link throw Ludo Rudo to the left, and then stay on the platform. So I'll do that. Then you come over here, kill this guy. And then just line up for your mega flip. And that's it. So I'll do that one more time. So you can see all the steps work together. Platform, hold up left. Looks like I'm too far away, I need to go one more frame. Alright, so once I'm here, I go left for one frame. If I can pause buffer. Oh, and I messed it up. If you mess it up, all you have to do is just jump off the platform and go through the door and reset. Assuming you're decent at pause buffering, it really won't cost you that much time. Let's get back on the platform. Need to go one more frame here. Alright, hold left for one frame. Alright, and then I throw a Rudo. Come over here, kill this guy, and do a mega flip. So I'll show you some things that you can mess up. I already did one thing where you, if you miss a frame when, you, when you're pause buffering, you just have to reset the room, basically. And it really doesn't cost that much time, but if you're good at pause buffering, you should rarely miss a frame. One other thing you can do is... It might look like you're close enough to the edge, and you're actually not. So, if you're right about here, and you say, that looks about good, and then you start uh, moving left. I'll do that now. Move left for a frame. And it's pretty clear that I'm not close enough. But really, that doesn't matter all that much, to be honest. You can even make adjustments on the fly. If this happens, just move left for another frame. 
and then throw Rudo, and that's it. And she'll still make it. That's how lenient this trick is. Even if you mess up the spacing, it it'll still work. You just have to make sure that Link's shadow is close to the edge of the platform. So I'll do a couple more. <clears throat> and you can see that I'm kind of spacing things differently every time I do this. And that doesn't really matter, just as long as Link is close enough to the edge of the platform to make the Rudolph throw. Looks like I might be close enough. It's kind of hard to tell. I'll move left. It's better to overestimate the spacing than under, because you can always... Oh, I wasn't close enough, so I'll just move left another frame. And then I'll throw Rudo. Oh. If I can actually buffer A. <laughs> Anything you mess up, just reload the room and do the steps again. I already moved left for a frame, so I'll just move left for another frame. And then I'll throw Rudo. More here, kill that guy, mega flip. I'll do it a couple more times. You can see the spacing is just always different, it really doesn't matter. Line it up about right, doesn't really matter. Walk as straight as you can. Get to the platform, hold up left. Alright, move left to frame. And then throw Rudo. And she's there. We'll do one more. And that's all there is to it. It's that easy. Just follow those steps, and you'll almost never miss a Rudo throw.